coming up on this week's Gadget Show Web TV, I recruit some help to test out some tough body armour and I bring you this week's best tech news. Hello and welcome to this week's Web TV. Now, sadly, you've just got me for company today as the lovely John Bentley is busy filming our road trip special with the rest of the gang. And you can catch it on your screens on Monday, the 27th of September. But fear not, that hasn't stopped me from bringing you a great episode. As I got a day pass out of the office to go and test some rugged body armour in a typical gadget show fashion. Initially, when you think of body armour, you might conjure up images of something the police or soldiers would wear. But now there's a wealth that are hitting the market claiming to be not only soft and flexible, but affordable too. And still protect you against some serious bumps and scrapes, which make them perfect if you're into extreme sports or biking. So to test out two Toff body armors in a typical gadget show style tested to destruction, I've come here to Spy Games in Milton Keynes, who specialise in creating a variety of military themed events that would put Jack Bauer and Jason Bourne to shame. And as a special treat, I'm joined by two ex-military agents, James and Maz, to help me test them out. And they should know a thing or two about how to put these two through their paces. The first armour I've got is the Extreme Harness Flight from Forcefield Body Armour. It's constructed using Nitrex, a unique high-tech shock-absorbing material that has repeat performance technology to ensure that even after multiple impacts, there is no loss of protective performance and should offer the ultimate in chest and back protection. And this is the No Fear Defender Body Armour which is designed for biking and to absorb those big impacts should you take a tumble. It comes with this vented hard shell material to protect your major parts such as your chest, shoulders, elbows and your spine and it has this softer material underneath the hard shell to help absorb those impacts. And what's more, it's all attached to this meshy fabric for easy flexibility. Right, we're all geared up and ready to start testing, but I think one of the most important questions is how do they feel? Are they comfortable? Can you move around? Yeah, well actually this one, the all-in-one uh, fit, is actually quite nice, quite comfortable. The arms, the material, it's yeah. quite elasticated. And how about you, Maz? It's nice and compact and tight. Yeah. I've tried that on and um, that feels a bit looser, but um, you haven't got the arm protection here, so you feel a bit Built exposed. Too. Um, but um, you have the option. Yeah, you've got the option of adding on like excess bits. So I guess depending on the sport that you're doing, if you don't want to go for sort of full upper body protection, you can just mix and match. Yeah. Do you reckon it could stand up some, to some trauma? I think so. I think we can give it a go. Now, obviously, I don't advise that you do this. This is just an example of what it might feel like if you fall on a rock. Perfect, Where do you yeah. want it first? Shall I give you a bit of a tap on the shoulder? Yeah, I think it's up to the shoulder. I'll go lightly to start fine. off with. Yeah. <laughs> How about the chest? Yeah. Ooh, yeah, bit the plastic. Yeah. Not too bad. Now the back I think is quite important. As you can see on this, it's got quite a good hard shell covering across the spine here. So if you're going to fall off, is that all right? Yeah. yeah. So that's about as hard as and you're going to get. That pace and that pound just yeah. Feel the, uh, feel the pressure a little bit yeah. too much. Now how are you feeling about this? Should we give you a bit of a on the chest, a little tap? Because I notice it's a lot. It's a lot softer, which I guess moulds to your body a bit more for yeah, flexibility. Right. But how is that? Not too bad? Not too bad. What about the back? Let's have a little look here. How's that feeling? Is that all right? Not too bad? So, it seems that body armour can withstand basic trauma. But to step up the testing, we've roped in a bit of extra help, a dummy called Derek, who doesn't mind taking an extra knock or two for the team. And in this case, his task was to be thrown into a telegraph pole and then off some hay bells, just so we could check for wear and tear from those bumps and scrapes that you would most likely experience during extreme sports or biking. And I have to say, our body armour has fared quite well, but I have to say, I think it's time we gave Derek a bit of a rest and introduce you to Ruth. Now, Ruth is a full human size and human weight test dummy. And our next test is to attach her to the back of an army Land Rover and drag her across the floor to simulate what it would be if our body armor was to be dragged along the surface of a road if you come off your bike. Let's have a look then, Ruth. Oh. But you know what? I didn't expect it to be this good. It's taken a bit of a battering, you know, different terrains. It was on the tarmac and the gravel and on the grass. You can see on the underarms, <laughs> uh, as you skidded, 
you can see the uh, the wearing of the mesh in there, so maybe a bit more protective underneath the arm. I would say though the main spinal area is yeah. definitely protected, the main yeah. back area yeah. is definitely protected, yeah. so yeah. I'd give it a thumbs up. Oh. Oh. Do you know what? It is attracted quite a lot of dirt in these vents, but the wear and tear is really good on this. Yeah, I would say this one has definitely fared better. So than the yeah, there's no well. fear. heard a crack from back there but do you know what it's not cracked at all yeah, is it cracked slight, there there's a, there's a slight the kink like, in it yeah, but yeah. the plastic stayed intact. I honestly thought because this material is so rigid that it would have snapped under the pressure what's the back like <laughs> nothing not a crack at all do you know what? It's fine on top, isn't it? There's no, it hasn't cracked at all under the weight of the Land Rover. No. What's the back like? So the uh, the integrity of the material hasn't seemed to give way or anything. So. Yeah. So the flexibility definitely works. Yeah. On the pressure test, that's yeah. for sure. Right, testing's over, and I have to say, I am still impressed and amazed at how well both of these body protectors have done, especially the rigid plastic didn't crack at all. I mean, what do you guys think? Um, well, in terms of um, protection, uh, we heard a little crack, and it had, yeah. didn't actually crack. This one here, hardly any damage at all. Yeah, it's I amazing. Think over time, this would probably last a lot longer. Any sort of hard impacts, you definitely get a bit more protection yeah. from the thud with this one, but the flexibility and this really works with any high pressure. So I think after today's tests, it's obvious that if you're doing any extreme sports, it's definitely worth investing in some sort of body protection. You know, you don't want to break any bones. But the gadget show would not be the gadget show if one of our tested destructions didn't include any explosions. Can we, uh, can we sort that out, guys? I think we can. Easy. still intact. <laughs> news time now and first up ViewSonic have announced that the iPhone contender the ViewPad 7 will be launched in the UK in the near future. Their first Android tablet has some impressive features including a 3G SIM slot for data on the go, a front-facing VGA camera as well as a 3 megapixel camera on the back and with Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, GPS and internet calling as standard it all makes it sound like a very impressive iPhone alternative. UK prices look set to be around £350 but the exact release date has yet to be confirmed. Next, film distributor MGM has signed a deal with Love Film, adding its film archive to the rental company's streaming service. Love Film has ramped up its online streaming service lately, making deals with the likes of Samsung and Sony to offer on-demand movies through their television's internet capabilities. The new deal with MGM will add 4,100 movies which will be available to watch instantly via Love Film services. So here's hoping off the back of this deal that more and more film companies will follow in MGM's footsteps, making their films more accessible to a wider audience. Well, that's all we've got time for today, but I'll be back next week with coverage from the Tech Expo IFA in Berlin. And of course, the main show is back on your screens Monday nights at 8 on 5. And this week, the gang set out on the mission to destroy some of the most rugged tech in the gadget show's ultimate test to destruction. Otis also jets off to Toronto to check out the 
off-road skateboard named the DTV Shredder. Susie is joined by Home and Away star Rebecca Reed to select the top five gadget games. And John checks out music streaming with the help from radio legend Mark Goodyear. As always, it's one not to miss, but from me and Web TV, we'll see you next week.